Hello and welcome to round three. We've won the die roll, so we'll choose to play first. Okay, this hand. Hmm. This hand is again borderline keep because we only have one land. Um we don't have a turn one play. I think with this hand, because we don't have a turn one play, um we actually mulligan. This hand's much better. Yeah, this hand's uh, an easy keep. Um, we're not going to play Kessie Prowler on turn one. I suppose we could play it on turn two. Um, I'm probably just going to put it on the bottom. I think we've got uh, plenty of better draws. Okay, so opponents on a Delirium deck. Actually, they could be on um, Team Merge. Okay, not actually played that uh, matchup, but I suspect we just want to uh, get in before they get to their Elder Deep Fiends. They do, yeah, it is Team Merge. Um, they do have access to Kozlek's Return. Um, she is a problem. Um, before sideboarding, we don't have Spirit of the Hunt, obviously. Um, so yeah, we're gonna have to look to be as aggressive as we can. Okay, so they don't play anything on turn two. Uh, it's nice that we've drawn uh, the fourth land, which means we can play Pack Guardian on turn four. Hopefully, draw another land so we get the wolf as well. Vessel revealing. Mm -hmm. Let's take uh, artifact, creature, enchantment, or mm -hmm. land. Uh, they can't take traverse. They can take the mountain, world breaker, or vessel. World breaker is an interesting one. Don't think I've seen world breaker in their uh, the emerge decks before. Um, they actually took the land. I played the land and then played Kozlek's turn. Okay. Well, Gauge Bandit's a pretty nice draw just because it gets him some damage. Use the Vastwood Seer, find the fourth land. So they don't have double blue for um, Elder Deep Fiend. Okay, so we probably just attack here. Um, they're likely to want to trade, but we're going to use a task command. I'm willing. I'm happy to use a task command here because it keeps the guy which banded it alive. It gets rid of Nissa. <coughs> it burns the opponent for three. Getting rid of Nissa means they have no um, good. Uh, what do you call it? Emerge sacrifice targets. They could have another Kozlex return, which would be a pain. No, they have Ishkanar. Okay. Hmm. Um. So if we attack, Ishkanar is a three-five, which means none of our creatures do anything. Um. I think we just pass. Debating whether we want to activate Duskwatch Recruiter pre-combat. I don't think we do. I think we want to play Pack Guardian. Um, and then uh, Pack Guardian, How Pack Resurgence. Uh, it feels like that's a good path to winning. So gathering the pack. Uh, they should have Spell Mastery, I think. Yep, yeah, Traverse and Kozlak's Return. So they get to take two. Um, so that's the Forest off Nissa. It's basically going to take Elder Deep Fiend and Emrakul, I would assume. So we pretty much have to kill them next turn. So 
I think from their point of view, they don't want to attack with anything. Mm -hmm. uh, they've not got black to activate mm -hmm. uh, Ishkanar. They've not got the mana to activate Ishkanar, to be fair. Um, yeah, they don't really want to... Because we attack with Ishkanar, we block. We could double block and trade one, but we wouldn't. Um, and then I think if we play Pack Guardian, each of our creatures would get into enough. Okay, so... The Crack Vessel... What did they take actually off that gather the pack? And we're calling all a deep fiend, and this time they're taking grapple with the past. So we know they've got Elder Deep Fiend and Emrakul and Grapple with the past in their hand. Okay, I think... I assume that they've got something like... Some way of killing... The werewolves? Oh, they've played two spells this turn, have they? Um, I don't think they have, you know. So we don't have the land. So they're gonna, what, Elder Deep Fiend on upkeep? Okay, so in res- Oh, they get, uh, close to turn. Ah. Are they triggering Cozal Extra Turn? Yes, okay. I think that makes us very dead. Um, one, two, three, four, five, six. So at the moment, they don't have... Um, I suppose we just cast this uh, Hell Pack Resurgence to use the mana. Um, yeah, the, they can't cast Emrakul this turn. So we're looking for, uh, yeah, something that's not going to happen. We need Guy Reach Bandit with some other way of pumping it. So I suspect that we're just dead here. I suppose we're not actually just dead. Um, we're looking down at um, Emrakul. So they're going to take Wretched Griff here, I assume. No, they took... Island. So left up double blue again. Okay. Um. Kozlek's returning a village messenger from treating. Oh yeah, might want to go to main phase to do that. So they still only have five card types. So if they hit land, they can play and recall this turn. Um, I think they've got a graph with the pass and then recall in their hand is what we know. Can now play Emrakul, so hmm. It doesn't seem like much of a decision to make when you can cast Emrakul, to be honest. They bring that Kozak to turn. They didn't need to use it here. They can run the Lamb Holt Pacifist into Emrakul. And now I'm going to be controlled. going to eat a uh, lamb hot pacifist not play the dust watch recruiter okay yeah that won't do it for us but luckily they didn't see we had nissa so at least that's a little bit of a surprise okay so we're very close actually to winning that game like very close like one turn um so to merge hmm we really want to sort of just out aggro them Definitely not Spirits of the Hunt. 
Spirit's very good um, against Kozak's Return. Mm -hmm. I think we cut a number of Kassig Prowlers. Um, and possibly even Lamport Pacifist in this matchup. Um, it's just... It's, it's a good card, but... If we play it on turn 2 and can't attack with it on turn 3, then we're just losing um, speed. I think we probably want um, to replace it with just these Kessig Forge Masters as more 2 drops. Probably cut a couple of Moonlight Hunts as well, there's not that many targets for removal. We saw Nissa, and they might play some like Pilgrim's Eye, but there's not that much down the curve, like such as Norwood Dryad. Um, I think two's fine. I think we're going to put um, Chandra in, just if we do get the late game, which is going to be quite good. Um, and probably Pat Guardian as well. And then we'll just uh, go with this. Yep, so again, we'll choose to play first. Um, this hand is certainly keepable. It's not the quickest start in that we don't have a one drop, but I think it's fine. Do they have a Narwhal Drive? No, they don't have a Narwhal Drive. That's good. So a really good draw here is actually Pack Guardian. Because uh, then we can spend our turn 3 doing nothing with Duskwatch Recruiter. Flip it to Kral and Horde Howler and play a Pack Guardian on turn 3. With Hellpack Resurgence so that we'd attack for something like uh, 12 on turn 4. Having already attacked for some with the Duskwatch Recruiter. So they, they're getting back... Um, they've actually got game trail. Wait, what? So they played an island, cast grapple with the past, and put game trail in its ha owner's hand, but they've not bothered to show me in revealed cards. That's lovely. So we actually draw Pat Guardian, which is sweet. We're foregoing three damage from the guy who each bandit, but Pat Guardian will do um, six next turn anyway, so. This also plays around Kozak's Return because the Crown Horde Howler is now a 3 toughness creature. Nissa, that's fine. Give you a forest. So we know you've got two forests in hand because you've revealed one and play and choose one with Nissa. So this turn we are going to attack. Um, we'll attack for 9. Um, and play probably a half at resurgence. No, there's not actually much difference here between, um, or no difference in damage between attacking with Gary Reach Bandit and playing half pack resurgence. Other than um, half pack resurgence means our creatures survive, um, and Gary Reach Bandit can then come down next turn and swing in for four straight away. So, yeah, however, our opponent blocks here, they're going to take. Uh, well, from this one, they're going to take 7 plus 2, so 9. Oh, no, 10 even. I can do maths. So, yeah, this is this is really the nut draw. Now, this is going to, yeah, this is a turn 4, turn 5 win. So, it's a very nice um, start. I think we probably want to keep a similar um, configuration for this game. Um, we want to be on the board early and attacking, so... Um, we we just lose the uh, the late game outright, so I think we probably just want to keep the same build. Um, could maybe ring in fiery impulses um, instead of the Kessig Prowler. Um, I think on the draw one drops are less important, but I think we'll just run this back. Okay, so this hand, yep, we need to keep this hand. It again has the potential for a turn three Pat Guardian. Um, so if you draw help at Resurgence, um, we're just going to have like a similar run to last time. Ooh, our opponent's multi four as well, so kind of have to feel like favourites. So presumably they don't have a land in their hand. 
Um, and I guess they take Shiv and Reef. Yep, they took Shiv and Reef. Okay, yeah, we've drawn Halpat Resurgence now, so this feels like game. But this is an attack for seven, nine, twelve. Yeah, it certainly would help that our opponent uh, mold to four and hasn't really found any action. But this is like this is the reason to play this deck. This is a, a, a turn five kill. Um, which with a lot of decks going very mid-range, um, sort of quite a reasonable clock. So yeah, uh, we finally got on the board in the league, um, <laughs> which is a good start. Um, so yeah, on to the next round.